attractive yes what do you think is beautiful or handsome in in your own eyes in a person yes um, I think the brain do you think you're attractive no today's standards no because I'm not 102 pounds and uh, I do have uh, life wrinkles and um, I'm a little chubby but to myself, do I think I'm attractive? Yes, because uh, I have a beautiful daughter. And, um, uh, and my brain, you know, I really feel that beauty is intelligence. And it's also uh, part of your soul and in your heart and how you feel about yourself. And I feel that that's what makes you beautiful. In a person, what do you think is beautiful oh, and handsome a person. in a person? Their personality. Do you think you are attractive? I'm too old to be attractive. Do you think you used to be? Yes. Romania, Mexico, and Egypt. Italy, Sri Lanka, and Ukraine. Um, I chose Romania, and Spain, and Mexico. Greece, Indonesia, and Morocco. Uh, Serbia, Egypt, and Mexico was the first. And Italy, Greece, and the United Kingdom was the second. Um, for the first set, because they have like a lot of curves and stuff, and so they like put it together. They're like not too skinny, but not too like big. They're like nice, plumped. <laughs> and then for the second set, um, Italy, because she kind of shows like natural complexion and she looks healthy within her skin color and stuff like that. Sri Lanka because she also looks really natural within her, like her lips look really like healthy and she, her face just looks healthy rather than a different one from like Indonesia. She looks really pale and sad. <laughs> and then Ukraine also because she, like I said, like she just, her eyebrows look really nice too, like really healthy too. Um, it just looked natural. The ladies looked very natural and um, they just looked attractive to me. Um, their eyes and their skin, uh, they just looked very natural. Why did you choose those? What about them stood out to you then? Not much. Um... I, I I don't think I could tell you uh, it was more of a gut decision rather than a cerebral decision. I couldn't tell you specifically because they all look very much alike and there's just subtle differences and I'm not sure what those subtle differences were that caught my attention even even looking at them again I couldn't uh, I couldn't tell you. That's probably not of much help, is it? Get a higher. Subscribe. Is this a pizza? Pizza? Am I pizza? I feel like I'm pizza sometimes.
That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> that's that's cool. But now what our standards are, you know, they're unrealistic. Share this video if you think all pizzas are beautiful. I do. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Oh my god, she's topless. What the hell? That's like a Barbie doll now. seen that video before no think about that uh, it was pretty trippy because they expanded her legs and they made her neck taller eyes bigger like it just changed her overall like it didn't change her completely but it changed minor features that made her look a lot better than what she was be like oh my god that was pizza did not see that coming have you seen that video before no that's my first time seeing you what the heck? It's like beautiful or whatever, but not like that. I've never seen that video before. That was just shocking. A piece of pizza, and it made me hungry. That's well, I like that the mandate you know, about false advertising, um, because not everybody looks like a Barbie. And not everybody wants to be a Barbie. But I like Barbie. I played with Barbies when I was a girl, but I never looked at Barbie thinking I need to have that figure. But now that I'm older, uh, 48 um, do I feel pressure into you know having a certain type of figure um, sometimes sometimes you know when you look through magazines or trying on clothes and it um, at times it's a lot of pressure because you always want to look your best and be your best and feel attractive and um, but if you know magazines and television and uh, people who influence um, society today uh, have this this image that we're never going to achieve unless if we have 80 grand in the bank to redo our nose and our cheeks and our hair. Uh, it just seems really unfair. And I think we're missing um, natural beauty, everyone's natural beauty, men and women together. Have you seen that video before? No. What do you think about that? Well, it, it's done all the time. It, those alterations of, of women to make them look like something that they don't look like in real life. And, and then that raises the expectation of young girls to look that way and to reach this artificial perfection that, uh, that they're confronted with day in and day out in all the media. And they feel uh, self-conscious, many feel self-conscious when they, they can't uh, they, they, they don't feel that they embody the same kind of beauty that they're seeing in print and in other media. Since you're in the industry, do you think that this should continue at this extent of almost everything being photoshopped or changed? Should it continue? Yeah. No, but it, but it will. I mean... It's nice for those who don't feel comfortable, like, or self-conscious about certain, like, things, but it's, like, not good about how people want to change their whole appearance overall. Like, saying, like, oh, um, like, trying to be what's on the magazine and stuff like that, because it influences people outside, like, of the magazines and stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't like it, but, I mean, I use it in class, so I guess I'm contradicting myself. What did you think of that power of Photoshop? Um, I 
was really taken back when I realized it's pizza because it just shows that there's this unrealistic approach to beauty instead of beauty, beauty being individual uh, that everyone brings something to the table it seems like now we have to have certain standards of beauty um, oh I know that Photoshop has has that power well, what do you think about it I'm impressed by it and I'm impressed by people that have the power that have the ability to uh, alter uh, pictures it's been done for a long time it was done it was done back in the era of Stalin uh, the Russian dictator, they would cut people, pictures out of newspapers that were 10, 15 years old because they had executed the person and they didn't want them in the picture any longer. So they, they had their own primitive Photoshop way of doing it. Or I had you rate three, like most beautiful pictures from each set, but these are the original pictures. Wow, so they photoshopped all of them different ways. Oh, well see, I think, I think they're attractive, you know. Do you want to renumber your sets? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, they, we think that they're different? Yeah, they sent these two original pictures to different countries. Oh, wow. So photoshoppers in different countries made that to how their society says beauty is. Wow, that's crazy. Do you want to re-rate how you did the pictures? Yeah. Now which ones are your top three from set one and from set two? Um, from set one, Spain, Colombia, and Venezuela. And from set two? I kept them the same. Why did you change the ones from set one? Because I looked at the original picture and I picked the pictures that were closely similar to the original picture rather than picking something that's totally different. Why um, did you keep the same ones for set two? Because from set two, I think I picked the original pictures from the, like, instead of the really photoshopped ones that looks really elaborate and different. Like, I think I picked already the original picture based off of what I saw. Don't you want to change your answers? Um, I, because that's how that's how they look, and I think they look attractive. Um, but then looking at you know the version one, I can see where you know like you're looking at the outside of the the lady who's in the bikini, her thighs, and her inner thighs. You know, like it seems like now my eyes go to imperfection instead of perfection, because I see where you know our thighs aren't supposed to be touching, and we're supposed to have a smaller, you know, waist, and our neck's supposed to be a little longer. Um, but no, I don't want to change. I still think those two pictures, those two young ladies are, are attractive. I'm not sure uh, I would even remember, to be honest with you. Do you think you're attractive? No. Why or why not? Well, the reason why I'm doing this documentary is the reason why not society's opinions on how you're supposed to look and how people are photoshopped in magazines to have big boobs and wide hips and that perfect hourglass figure, which I don't have, or to be the average height, which I am not. The average height for a woman is 5'8", I'm 5'11". I'm also over the average height of a man, which is 5'10". How do you feel about yourself self-esteem-wise? I don't think I have any self-esteem. Let me rephrase that. I think I used to have self-esteem and then as I get older and I'm shown more magazines and more celebrities and open to more things, especially now with the internet, how you can look up anything, uh, it's easier to destroy self-esteem and kids of course are mean and they can break down your self-esteem even from a young age. Does it affect you in a good way or a bad way? My self-esteem affects me in a bad way. Um, I have depression. I've had it since freshman year, so I've had it for two years. Um, I hated myself so much that I would cut. And I, of course, would hide the scars. 
so my self-esteem was destroyed so much and it made me hate myself so much that I physically harmed myself because I thought I wasn't good enough. Has the standards of beauty caused you to change? Yeah, it has caused me to change. Um, to buy tighter clothes and get that double cup push abroad, Victoria's Secret. Uh, and seeing the Victoria's Secret models and how curvy they are and how nice their boobs are and even the little details of how nice their hair looks and makeup and all these different things that sure do come with age like how you get older and you can fix the way you look but at 16 already deciding that I hate myself is kind of pathetic compared to society I don't know 40 years ago when girls probably didn't feel this way of, of wow, I'm not good enough for this. How does society affect you? Well, society affects me in a bad way. That's why I'm doing this documentary on the standards of beauty. During my research, I found that there's this thing called the golden ratio rule. It basically means your attractiveness is based off of the proportions of your face. The more proportionate you are, the more attractive you are but this is proven not to really be true. There's this old documentary that also does standards of beauty, but it's more primitive in the way it goes about things, like how our primitive brain detects the things that we find attractive. For example, they had, to, they had women walk on a treadmill. Some of them asked as if there was an attractive man walking past them, how would they walk? Well, they shook their hips more that is the primitive brain suggesting that is more attractive. He needs to change and be more accepting and not so demanding about how life should be. Especially towards women, we shouldn't be so demeaning and judgmental. God forbid someone actually puts on makeup and tries to look good and feel good about themselves. The fact that many women don't like themselves, for example, in my case, how I developed depression because of the hatred I felt from society and from other people. That shouldn't be happening. Our society should be filled with love and acceptance, not hatred. Maybe they